YouTube family, we're doing some bacon and onion cabbage. And I'm telling you, it's going to be good, y'all. This is going to be Southern style. So I'm taking some hickory smoked bacon, and I want to take out some slices of this here bacon and start cutting this baby up. And I'm going to take out a few more slices as well, y'all. I just love some bacon and cabbage. I'm telling you, it's the best thing for me. Yes, it is. So you got to try this here recipe. But whatever you do, don't leave because you're going to see something good. And it's going to taste good if you try this at home. So now I got my cast iron up on um, the stove on medium high heat. And I just want to go ahead and brown up this here bacon. All right. I want to brown this baby up. And that's what's going to happen. But in between time, since while the bacon is cooking, I want to take me a half an onion because I'm only using one cabbage. And I want to slice this onion up. This is a sweet Vidalia onion. And all we want to do is just basically chop this baby up. And now I want you to take that onion and toss it it into the pot along with that bacon and let this baby cook up i want that bacon to render down you understand what i'm saying let it release all the fat that it need to release now we got this one head of cabbage that i want you to go ahead and wash up and as you can see i made a little v for you because i'm cutting this core just like i just outlined it in in a v shape and if you just follow that core, it'll come out easily, y'all, every time. All right. So I don't like the green leaves on the cabbage, y'all. I know some people do, but don't don't come at me with that. So I'm just going to give this cabbage a rough chop, basically just a rough chop. All right. And that's all I want to do. Now, once I've did that, I'm kicking it to the side in the bowl. Now. What I'm going to do is make some soul food seasoning. This is Ray Max soul food seasoning. So one teaspoon of salt is what we're going to start off with. And then we're going to add in one teaspoon of black pepper. This soul food seasoning is good on everything, y'all. So we're going to also toss in one teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm telling you, you've got to get this here seasoning a try. So we got one teaspoon of garlic powder as well. All right. Now, the next ingredients we're going to toss in is going to be one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. All right. So once you got your Cajun seasoning in that, we want to also toss in one tablespoon of sugar. I said it right. We putting sugar in this. How many of y'all like sugar in your cabbage? Comment below. Now I want you to go ahead and stir up that onions and that bacon. My God, boy, it smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it up in this here kitchen. So we're going to take our um, cabbage and we're going to toss it right on up in that up in that pot. And just pack that baby up with that one head of cabbage, all right? That's all you need for this recipe is one head of cabbage. Now what we're going to end up doing, I got some beef broth. This is a half a cup of beef broth. Yes, I know cabbage makes its own liquid, but we want to take this a step further. So now with that Ray Mac Soul Food seasoning, you can make this yourself, I'm telling you. I just gave you the ingredients. So shake that baby up, get everything incorporated together. And I want you to take that Ray Max Soul Food Seasoning. I don't want you to use all of it, but you could just use as much as you want. I want you to stop until your ancestors say stop. So if you got to conjure up grandma and them or mama and them or auntie and them, speak to them and they'll tell you what to do. All right. That's all you got to do is listen to your ancestors. Now, my mama just said stop, and I'm going to do what my mama said do. All right, so that's it, y'all. Now, I want you to also do this right here, too. All right, look at your creation and enjoy it, that Ray Max soul food seasoning. Now, I'm going to also toss in um, some one teaspoon of red pepper flakes because this is going to give me that little uh in the back of my throat that little heat factor and this is what i love y'all i just like putting red pepper flakes in my cabbage i just love it so now with that being said let it let this baby cook up a little bit i like it to where you still going to have a little bite to it whatever you do don't overcook your cabbage You've got to be the judge of how tender you want your cabbage. I can't give you a time or whatever the case may be. All you have to do is just take pieces out of that pot, taste it, and taste for seasoning or whatever the case may be. As you can see, it's looking good, y'all. It's really looking good. And I'm just sitting here talking my, my life away while this video is going. But it's okay, y'all. But you, if you try this here bacon, onion, cabbage recipe, this is a staple. This is a southern dish from the heart. You better be countryfied if you're making something like this. No joke. You better be countryfied, I'm telling you. So with all said and done, 
We're happy with what we created. Now we got our bacon and onion cabbage ready to serve up on the plate. But I also want to serve this with a few more stuff up here, y'all. So I did bake up some. I didn't bake up some mashed potatoes. I, I cooked this here spaghetti, y'all. And my wife did some baked um, chicken legs. Then we got some roast with some potatoes and carrots. And I'm telling you, man, this was some. This was a meal. This was a great Sunday meal. And then I jazzed up a box of macaroni shells. You got to jazz it up. You just can't eat the macaroni shells just like it is with just that pack of cheese. Come on, somebody. And then my girl Kendra, big money, Kendra Michaels. My girl, she she hook up these here. Boy, I'm going to get her to make me a video showing how you make some um, candy yams. She could kill some candy yams, I swear to God. So this is it right here, y'all. Now, I want y'all to do me a favor. Before you leave, don't go nowhere because I got a bonus video for you guys. And I want y'all to check out the bonus video right now. Don't go nowhere. Cheesy beefy quesadillas. Go ahead and grab your ground beef. Taco packets. I have the cheesy and the mild. Of course, you got to have your tortillas because it's a quesadilla with no tortilla. Some cheese. I got some pepper jack and some cheddar cheese shredded. Peppers. Tri-colored and onion. And for our seasonings, all-purpose seasoning, garlic powder, pepper, salt, onion powder. Add in some olive oil to your pan. We're going to saute the peppers. Butter in and let that melt down. Then we're gonna grease both sides. 